Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will study about how to implement a stack in Python programming language. Okay, so uh, in the previous video, we have studied what is a stack, what can be the operations on a stack. Now to implement a stack in uh, uh, Python, you first need to declare an empty stack. And how do we use, how do we do that? We basically use the list data type for implementing a stack in Python. And to create an empty stack, we use the built-in function list. So this particular statement will create an empty list and name it stack. Assign it to the variable named stack. Okay. So this is how you create an empty stack. So uh, in Python, the list data structure will help you implementing in a stack. Now, to perform the push and pop operations also, we have some built-in functions of the list that can be used to do so. So, to push a new element into the stack, we will use the built-in function append of the list. And to pop the element from a stack, we will use the built-in function pop. Okay, so let's study these functions and implementation uh, one by one. So first, when we are trying to uh, create the push operation for a stack, we will uh, write down its function declaration, which is the uh, name of the function, which I have given push, the stack in which the element has to be pushed and the element itself, which has to be pushed. Now, inside the function definition, I have written a single statement, which says, call the append function on this list and append this particular element to the stack. So what will happen whenever you call this function with the name of the stack and the element you want to push, it will add that element to the end of the list. So basically in the implementation in Python, we are pushing elements at the end of the list and also we are append we are removing elements from the end of the list so the end of the list is considered as the top for the stack and since it is by default uh, all the operations are happening from the end we do not need to explicitly declare the variable top and allow it to point to someone uh, the push operations that we are defining using the append function and the pop operation that we are defining using the built-in pop function of list will automatically ensure that the operations are happening from one end of the list which is the uh, right side of the list okay so also in the push operation you have seen that theoretically we studied that we need to check before pushing an element into the stack whether the stack is full or not but no such condition has been checked in this case why because a list can accommodate a large number of elements in python when as long as memory is available to it okay so a list generally does not have an upper bound or a limit to the number of elements it can contain as long as memory is available it is allocated memory by the python interpreter and we can add more elements to the list that is why in most cases it is not required to check whether the stack is full or not that is why we directly write the append statement for pushing an element into the stack okay so this is the push operation now we need to perform the pop operation but for the pop operation we need to check whether the stack is empty or not so to check whether the stack is empty or not we have defined a separate function called is empty this function will let us know whether the stack is empty or it contains an element and it will return a boolean true or false depending upon the length or the number of elements present in the stack. So to check whether the stack is empty, we check the condition if the length of the stack is zero, then the return value will be true. That means the stack is empty. But if the return value is uh, if the length of the stack is not zero then the return value will be false which means the stack is not empty so we will define this function and we will use this function is empty while defining our pop operation 
now the uh, is empty function took only one argument which is the stack because it only needs to check whether the stack is empty or not in the case of the pop operation we need to again pass only one argument because while popping we will get back an element from the stack we do not need to give any other argument we just need to specify the name of the stack okay so in the pop operation in the definition uh, what we are doing we are first checking whether the stack is empty or not and to do this we are calling the is empty function that we just defined this particular call will return either into a true or a false so if is empty returns true that means whether this uh, that means if the stack is empty we will print underflow because we cannot perform a pop operation when the stack is empty and in that case we will return none now if the is empty call returns false that means the stack is not empty the length of the stack is not equal to 0 in that case we will come to the else clause and the return value will be the topmost element of the stack and how does this particular line ensure that the return value will be a topmost element so pop is a built-in function of the list stack is a list and we are calling the pop operation on this list so basically it will remove the last element that was inserted into the list or the element that is present at the end of the list okay so this element is returned here okay so the pop uh, operation takes one argument and it returns one element if the stack is not empty if the stack is empty it will return none okay so let's execute this also now if we want to know what is the size of the stack currently we are defining another separate function for that which is the size function so the size function takes a single argument stack uh, the this will be the name of the stack whose uh, size you want to determine so it will return the length of the stack as its return value so whatever will be the length of the stack that you have passed as an argument will be returned by the size function now if we want to know what kind of element is present at the top of the stack we have also implemented another op uh, function for the same which is the top uh, function which takes a single argument that is the name of the stack whose top element you want to find so here we are uh, trying to retrieve we are trying to get the element that is uh, that was inserted the last into the stack that is present at the top of the stack okay so uh, for doing this uh, first we have to check whether the stack is empty or not because we cannot retrieve any element uh, when the stack is empty so first we call the function is empty on this stack and if this condition becomes true that means the stack is empty we will print the stack is empty and return none but if the condition is false that means stack does not uh, the stack does contain some elements and it is not empty in that case we will say that uh, we will we will basically find out the length of the stack why we are doing this because we want to retrieve the element that is present at the uh, top and the top is basically the element that is that was entered at the very end so that element will be present at the location length of the stack minus one so it will be present at the very end at the length minus one position at the length minus one index value so we first uh, find out the index which will be the length of the stack and uh, we then return the element that is present at this index rather the element that is present at length minus one okay so uh, after finding out this element we then return the element okay so just quickly uh, uh, making you understand this else portion once again to retrieve the topmost element we have to first find the length of the stack length of the stack will give us the total number of elements that are present in the stack 
this will also help us to know what will be the index of the element that was inserted at the very end because stack follows a leafo principle so the last in element will be the first one to be out so the element that is present at length minus 1 will be the topmost element and we retrieve it from the stack using this indexing the square brackets notation and we return this element okay so let's also execute this um, now coming to the last function for the stack this is the display function now what if you want to display what are the elements that are present in the stack so to display the elements that are present in the stack you need to be very careful how you are displaying the elements when you are displaying the elements uh, it will be very easier to understand very easy to understand uh, the the you know the arrangement of those elements so the element that is present at the top should be displayed first then the element that was inserted before it and so on till the element that was first inserted okay so since i want to retrieve the elements in this order again i have calculated the length of the stack first because i want to display this particular element that is present at the top in the very first printing okay so i execute the statement print current elements in the stack are then I create a loop that will iterate over the list that symbolizes our stack and it will iterate in the reverse order. So we will first print the element that is present at the end of the list because that element is the top element of the stack. Then we will decrement the um, you know we, we will decrement this index value by one and we will keep on pr uh, printing the elements as and when they are encountered so what we are doing is we are specifying a range which starts from uh, x minus 1 that is length of the stack minus 1 it goes till 0 because the ending index will be ending index minus 1 so uh, it will go till the first element that will uh, that was inserted and it will be proceeding in gaps of minus 1 so it will be reducing these index values one by one so what happens here is we print the element of the stack that has uh, this that is present at this particular index value i so first the element at the top will be printed that is the element present at length minus 1 then the element will be printed which is present just before the topmost element and so on till the first element that was inserted into the stack okay that will be printed at the last so this is how we are following the leafo principle the element printed the first was the last one that was inserted into the stack okay now coming to uh, uh, you know just let's try to execute and call each of these functions one by one so what I have done is I have created a new stack called my stack and to create the stack I need to use the list built in function. So this uh, particular statement will create an empty stack. Now I am adding elements to this stack to add the element uh, which is a string uh, first I will call the push operation on my stack and add this element you know i'm pushing this element then again i push a second element which is the string second and again i call the push operation the push function on my stack and insert this particular element now i want to display what all elements are present so i call the display function or if you want to uh, display the number of elements you can only call the size function so size will let you know how many elements are present in the stack as of now now you if you want to uh, perform the pop operation you need to uh, call the pop function that you have defined on my stack and store its return value into a certain variable i'm storing it in the variable named element now once i get this element that is popped i'm printing this particular statement that the popped element is so and so 
After popping, I'm again adding a new element named third using the push operation. Then I want to uh, use the top function to retrieve what element is present at the top of my stack. So I'm calling the top function on my stack. And at last, I am displaying uh, the stack contents that are present in my stack. So what should be the stack contents? The uh, first element that was inserted was first. Then we inserted second. Then we popped out second. Okay. Then we inserted the element third. So the elements of the stack should be third and first. Let's see these operations. Let's execute this and see it one by one. So first we pushed the element first, then we pushed the element second. Then when we executed size of stack, we saw that the current number of elements in the stack is 2. Okay, because the length of the stack is 2. Then we popped out an element and that element was the topmost element that was inserted most recently. This element is element second. Then we push a new element and this element is called third. And then when we uh, display, you know, when we uh, display the top of the element, we, we when we display the top of the stack, we get the value third because now the stack contains two elements, which is third and first. Then when we display the stack, we get to know that the two elements are third and first. Okay. So this was all about uh, uh, the implement implementation of a stack in python i hope you have understood all these functions if you have any doubts you can mention to us in the comment section below uh, thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam